Okay, guys. <clears throat> so I call, saw a comment come in, but I don't I don't really want to call the person out either, make them look bad. But I get this question a lot about Yorkies. Why do their skin itch so much? Why do they have such bad skin? It gets black and crusty sometimes. Um, not just Yorkies, but a lot of terriers, Airedales, Schnau Schnauzers. So this is just coming from my personal opinion, coming from somebody who is actually helping a Yorkie that used that was you know dealing constantly dealing with chronic skin issues, you know, just all the time. It, you know, bumps, uh, it, it was like bumpy and raw and just sores everywhere with patches of missing skin. And down here it was all black. But now, if you see, it was a little black earlier too, but now look, it actually looks like healthy skin. The color is back to pink, right? So, my, in my opinion, in my professional opinion, <laughs> with uh, the experience that I have now um, helping this guy with his skin. Uh, I'm just trying to find a place where I can rest this. Okay, there we go. So, now, in my opinion, the reason why your, your Yorkie may be itching is because you're washing them too often. And by washing, oh, thank you, Harley. By washing them so often, what we're doing is we're drying out their skin. We're washing away all those oils. Um, and not, not only, because um, I say brush more, bathe less, not only is it off to, um, bathing them too often, if you're bathing them more than once or twice a week, you know, or once or twice a month, um, that's just too often in my opinion. Um, I think once every four weeks is good enough. But when you wash them, another thing, another factor, it's not just one thing that's causing it. It's a number of things working together. So first thing might be that you're washing too often. Next thing is um, you're not using conditioner. So after the shampoo, the shampoo is not as important as the conditioner. So, and I get this at Pet Supermarket, but anyways, I, the, I'm letting the conditioner sit for much longer because when you wash the dog, right, and they get squeaky clean, you've washed all the oils off the skin. So now it doesn't have any, it doesn't have that protector, protective layer of oil anymore. So their skin is now dry and wide open to bacteria and fungus. Bacteria and fungus are super opp opportunistic. They'll grow on anything, um, unless the skin and the hair have that protective layer of oil to, to repel them off. So um, that could be another thing. So I, while while the shampoo conditioner is sitting, I, you know, I work it into the coat. I let it, I let it, you know, seep in, really penetrate that skin and coat. And while I did that, I brushed his teeth. You know, all the back teeth even. <laughs> so I brushed his teeth, and now I'm about to rinse them off. But after. After I've let this sit for about five to 10 minutes, I mean, we're already past five minutes now because I really want a good, so especially during the cold weather seasons, when it's cold outside, our skin gets dry too. And when our skin gets dry, sometimes we get rashes and stuff and our skin gets itchy. So, because it's dry. So we put lotion on our skin. Same thing with our, with our terriers. And I think with Yorkies especially, because the hair is silky, you know, they say it's not really, coarse and wiry, it's silky hair, you know, soft and silky. So I feel like a lot of times that old hair, because it's so much of it in there, because we're not pulling it out for them, um, it's just, it loads up those pores, it just packs it in. And then, and then what happens? Then after we wash them with like prescription shampoo or something really, um, you know, just heavy in chemicals, then we zap them out and now um, the hair, when I dry it, it doesn't dry nice and fluffy. It looks greasy. It looks and acts greasy. And I think that's the skin overcompensating for when we dried it out. The skin overcompensates, has to work even harder now to produce more oils. So now you have a greasy dog that just seems to stay greasy all the time. So that's why I feel like brush more, bathe less. When you do bathe, use conditioner and let the conditioner sit. And before you bathe, make sure you go through and comb out the dog completely, thoroughly, head to toe, like removing our dirty underwear before we wash them. So if you do these things, I can almost guarantee you that your dog will stop itching, the smell will go away, all those skin issues will go away, and your dog will actually feel more comfortable, and they're going to act nicer because they're not so uncomfortable and itchy anymore. So, right, right Harley? <laughs> so that's my... That's my answer to why your Yorkie might be itching. Um, Theodora, what's up? Happy Wednesday, y'all. It's raining a lot here lately. Is brushing and blow drying going to be enough to stay clean? Yes. So my dog, Weemi, the other day, um, I, I changed dog food recently because I, I just didn't have time to get it before we ran out and mix it in. 
So they went from um, one dog food to now do, um, it's blue, um, blue buffalo, duck, life source, you know, bites. So, you know, it's good food, good quality food, but they're not used to it. So that they were, you know, they were having diarrhea that first day. My Shizu mix, Weemi, he was like trying to push it out and it was at night. I shined the flashlight and it's like this big, big thing, ball of diarrhea just stuck on the back of his coat, right? And this is a Shizu with long hair. I was like, oh my God. So I, you know, as soon as we got home, I, I got the poop bags and I, I used it like a glove. I got as best as I could. We got home um, and I was like, I'm not, I'm not gonna do like three, four hour comb and wash. So what I did was I, I just washed that back area, right? And I used the shampoo and the conditioner, you know? And then I, I, after I rinsed out the shampoo and the conditioner, while I was drying him, I, I was combing and drying that area. And then I just went ahead and just combed and dried the rest of his body. He actually looks good. <laughs> um, it's almost like a cheat, but really I didn't wash him. I, I literally just washed that, that, the butt area, but then I sprayed conditioner on him and I combed and dried the rest of him out, fluffed him out because it was raining and he looks, he looks great. He feels great, soft, you know? So in my opinion, Yes, the brushing and the drying, it's gonna give you more benefits than washing. Let's get because it's just how it's just how the canine, the dog skinning coat works. It's a lot more like the horse's skinning coat than our own. And horses, any good equestrian will tell you, you don't want to wash them too often. You want to brush them to keep their oils intact. You know, because it protects their skin and you stimulate their skin by brushing them, you know, it helps stimulate, get those blood circulating, spreads those oils all through, you know, um, e evenly throughout the coat. So anyways, that's my, um, t uh, I guess, su suggestions, recommendations. First, brush them more, bathe them less, and brush them thoroughly before you bathe them. Second, use conditioner and let it sit. Give the conditioner time to really penetrate that skin and put those oils and the moisture back in there. Um, and then number three, um, no, I guess, I guess that's it. <laughs> I guess it's just two. Brush more, bathe less, and brush, okay, three. Brush more, bathe less, brush them before you wash them, and then um, let the conditioner sit before you rinse it off, okay? I like, I, I like to stay with three. Three is a good number. Anyways, <laughs> I'll see you guys.